So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest with us on our channel. We have Neeraj with us. So Neeraj, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Thank you for inviting me, Asis. So like, I'm Neeraj Kumar, a software development engineer at Qualcomm. So I am. I completed my BTEC from uh, IIIT Bhagalpur in 2022. So after graduation, I joined Synopsys as an R&D engineer. Mm -hmm. So where I worked for almost two years and advanced to the position of senior R&D engineer. Mm -hmm. as well and uh, recently i joined uh, qualcomm as sd engineer mm -hmm. and uh, yeah that's all nice man nice so like he said he recently switched on to qualcomm so first of all tell us your interview experience at qualcomm man how were the rounds how did everything happen so first of all like uh, uh, i applied from uh, uh, linkedin actually i saw a post uh, Uh, in LinkedIn mm -hmm. uh, for SD position in Qualcomm, so okay. I made my resume for my consideration. So like uh, after two weeks, I got a call from recruiter from for the interview. So actually there were three rounds, mm -hmm. so two two technical rounds and one managerial round. Okay. okay. So both both of them uh, uh, both the technical round happened at the same time uh, at the same day. Okay. Uh, next day I got a call for the third round, uh, which was managerial round. So actually, in the first round, interviewer asked me two DSA problem. So first one was uh, lead code easy, you can say, mm -hmm. and uh, second was one lead code medium. Okay. And in second round, uh, only interviewer asked only one lead code question, uh, which was hard problem, mm -hmm. hard lead code problem. But it was a standard problem. Okay, so I was able to solve it easily. So in and in the third round there was one LLD question and some CS subject questions like uh, in actually in uh, in th uh, first and third and uh, first second and third uh, OOPs operating system and computer networks mm -hmm. uh, they also asked some questions around that okay and uh, in third round they asked uh, uh, some talks on my previous work experience yeah, yeah. that's all happened. Like it was uh, only in a week. It, uh, all interview happened in a week only, mm -hmm. and uh, in the next week I got a uh, call for uh, from HR that I am selected for HD logging call. Hmm. So how was the difficulty of the interviews according to you? So it was a medium level interview. Okay. Yeah. And do you remember any like hot topics or DSA topics that are there for Qualcomm? Like what kind of topics do they generally like asking? So like uh, uh, one question like in the first round the one question was uh, easy problem that I told you like uh, it was from link list and uh, they asked me one question from a stack okay okay in the first round it fell and in the second round it was a hard problem so like uh, it was I remember uh, I solved using multi set mm -hmm. okay and uh, yeah it was not solved uh, like uh, I. Uh, and same problem I solved in after the interview I solved in lead code. Uh, like uh, most of the solution were solved from two heaps. Hmm. So it was good uh, for me. Like I was able to solve the that uh, problem in a time. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and also must have been hectic, right? Both rounds in the same day. <laughs> yes, yes. It was just like one one after another. Hmm. So did they ask anything about the projects that you had in your resume, or did they only focus on your previous work experience? So since I was uh, like uh, already worked for two years in mm -hmm. Synopsys, so they asked only uh, my work related things in Synopsys, uh, my tech work, tech related stuff, uh, what I have worked on Synopsys. That's all. Like uh, in the in the third round, like uh, they asked more, mm -hmm. but in first round and second round, uh, apart from the DSA, they asked only uh, some CS related. a uh, cs subject related uh, stuff like uh, most of them were from computer networks actually mm. and uh, some of them from operating system and uh, some verbally uh, oops questions mm. that's it all right so the first two rounds were more like dsa and cs fundamental and the last round was more on your resume ki how did you perform in your previous company yeah. things like that right yeah. Just all yes. right. So on a final note, you know, to all of all of the people that are watching, you know, who want to crack a company like Qualcomm, and you know, want to get to their dream company, what advice will you give to the people who are watching, both you know, the fresher, the working professionals? 
yeah so like uh, for phase say like uh, like explore all the things like you if you are in uh, first semester or second semester mm-hmm. you have a lot of time and uh, you also want uh, like uh, whatever you are good in work work on that like uh, you are you you can be good in data science like you can like data science mm-hmm. or machine learning stuff or ai related stuff or web development mm-hmm. or even cp computer yeah. programming okay so like uh, just explore all those things and just start choose one one and uh, go from there like uh, in the second year okay and uh, don't uh, one advice i want to give to fraser don't do dsa and web development at the same time okay because initially dsa takes lot of time so like uh, yeah. because uh, someone who have like who who never done uh, like coding mm. in a life like uh, he started right so he has to build a logic building mm. like a logic reasoning uh, thing logical things it comes after practice mm. like you have to do a lot of practice like for five hours in a day or six hours hours in a day if you take uh, both at the same times it will be very hard for you mm-hmm. so what you can do like first start with dsa like continue dsa for six months okay and uh, if you able to solve medium lead code lead code question continue with web development and uh, solve with daily one lead code or two uh, or two lead code question so that you can have a hands on on that okay so this will be my advice to fraser mm-hmm. and uh, if you want if you are a experienced pers- person you have already uh, like worked on many things like tech related stuff so you just need to have a grasp on lead code so try to have a daily lead code questions after your work two or three lead code questions uh, give uh, some contest uh, on saturday on sunday on lead code i i do i i did actually for for like i prepared for six months actually i i continued uh, lead code for six months again like after like uh, after you know joining synopsis as well, like uh, i wanted to switch that time i i continued uh, with lead code so you also can do and uh, and uh, you can switch easily hmm. great yeah. great great man i also agree with the advice that you've given you know in the starting if you try to do everything at once ki dsa bhi kar rahe ho web dev bhi kar rahe ho yeah it will be too yeah. much yeah this question i have uh, like i have asked uh, like uh, from the linkedin as well the student messaged me about this like uh, how you handle both at the same time i haven't handled the both <laughs> at the same time yeah. i just mastered dsa right. at once first and tried another things okay mm-hmm. so you should do as well this kind of thing. not uh, don't do both of them at the yeah, start yeah. like uh, if you are new journey right like you start i just started them okay. career in big day mm-hmm. it will be very hard for you to continue both at the same time so start building logic first in dsa if you are able to do lead code medium then do other things web drive or mobile dev anything hmm. correct yeah. correct correct man Okay, so I guess that covers pretty much everything about cracking a company like Qualcomm, both as a fresher and a working professional. And if anyone still has any doubt, I'll give Neeraj's LinkedIn in the description. You guys can follow him from there and connect with him. So again, thanks a lot, Neeraj, for coming on my channel, sharing your journey. I hope it'll help a lot. Yeah, thank you, thank you for uh, having me here.